Don't do it. Don't open that little box. One more crack. Don't ask me to marry you. Shh. Don't say another word. Just listen. I can't let you do this to me. I mean, before I met you, I used to be such a bitch. I mean, seriously. Everyone at work thought I was a huge bitch. No one actually liked me. <laughs> Those people I introduced you to as my friends, they're not my friends. <laughs> they're scared of me. Well, they were. Before I met you, before you, I never said please or thank you at restaurants. I never smiled or laughed at anybody else's jokes but mine. I never used to tip more than 10%. I was quick with insults. I always had a poor word. I was cold, cross, crass, falsely compassionate. But since being with you, I have begun to feel warm inside and fuzzy. I find myself wanting to stroll through parks and to whistle. I have these, um, these thoughts and these um, urges to donate to charities and to help out at soup kitchens and to Hug people. Since being with you, I have given nearly ten pounds to a homeless man, helped three old ladies cross the street and gave one of my so-called friends a present at full price. And it was something I knew she would like. Don't you see? Don't you see you've made me nice? And what really scares me is that you'll open that box and you'll ask me to marry you and I'll just... I'll just say yes nicely. <laughs> and I'll be nice for the rest of my life. I'll be singing Kumbaya for the rest of my days. I'll give back to the community, the Salvation Army, the Make-A-Wish Foundation. <laughs> and I'll do it anonymously. And then one day, years from now, I'll wake up and I'll have the horrible realisation that I lived a good life. That I contributed. So please, for the love of God, put that box away. I mean, the planet already has billions of nice people. It doesn't need me to. I'm a bitch and I want to stay that way. Please, please, no, please, I'm begging. No, look, look, I'm getting down on my knees. Look. Don't ask me to marry you.